I ain't made a lap all year. I'm gonna be fine. All right, man. <laughs> Looks I'm, good to me. I'm burning a lap. <laughs> I don't know what I'm feeling vibration-wise, but I mean something feels. <laughs> but like at full speed, I mean, it feels like I'm pulling gas. Like that was fast. <laughs> if we faintly miss the invert here, that's still kind of a win for opening night. <laughs> It is, but it isn't. Hey, you know, f it, day racing, rubber, like. The weight's that much off the tank, is it? This has got to be the worst, like, mechanical issue two nights I've ever had in history owning this thing. I've had way worse. <laughs> Pretty much every January. Should just go right in. Kevin. What's up? How are you? Yeah. And my measurement shows it's about a half inch farther forward, so just that A must be just I mean, if it's... a little bit different. Um Back after this week and take that, yeah, that bar for you. Yeah, I can just knock Do you that have off. a? Do you have steering wheel spacers at all or no? Yeah, that feels. We actually when we won that Lincoln race with Spencer. Yeah. He just came with his own wheel and it had a KSE or something hub on it, oh. and he never pulled up on it the whole time. <laughs> and it never was flipped. We got to port oil the next week. So the KSE hub doesn't lock on it. No, the other like the other style hub doesn't lock on a sweet. So he literally, we got the port, he goes to hot lap, and he grabbed it and pulled it off, and he panicked. And I was like, didn't you have that all last week, too? Just leave it off just in case the floor paint yeah. gets bent, like I want it to good still go it. down, so. I'm good for it. Um, you want to check the tension on this? Uh, yeah, I'll just stick it. That'll work. There's a wrench in the belly pan. Oh, shit. Dylan, you got the smallest arm. I was always pretty good here in the night. I got, I mean, we struggled with, I mean, some, but like, I ran pretty good here as well. But all, I mean, I probably ran here, well, last year, I guess we only ran for the three days, or for the two days. And then the year before, we ran there like five or six nights, and I guarantee everyone we were terrible. Kings Royal, the year before that, we were in the bowl, but like, I don't know if it was him or what we were doing or what, like we didn't fall for the shit. But we kind of, we hit that invert on the King's Roll night, yeah. and then we raced fine. We just were weird getting the ball fired. You know what, I actually was decent. I don't remember how I ran the A, but we were actually pretty good. He qualified good. In the 72 car. Oh, okay. Last year. The first night we were, because that was our first race. Yeah. We weren't very good, then we came back, we won our heat, and then, um, I would finish. But I remember actually being pretty decent the second day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just go ahead and go. Don't worry about a wheel cover. You want to take him so you can have the water or what? Nah, I'm good. So the, the bottom is just grease. There's like a lane, lane and a half of just slime, and they can't get it packed in. And they're just gonna hurt people if they try to race like that, probably. I just thought, like, I'm, I think all of us would be happy to come back early tomorrow. Like, it's not dirty, I don't, we don't have to do anything. Yeah, just come double up. Right in the deep end. Yeah. Welcome to the absolute shit show. Yeah. Right. You ever realize that Speed Lab and Shit Show have the same amount of letters? <laughs> <laughs> Swindell does too. 
if we're gonna go there. <laughs> we just put our qualifying motor in its rain. You know, there's a guy, somebody sitting in there that you're shaking, right? It's simulating. It's like it's like a seven. It's like a seven post. Hey. They call it a shake rig for a reason. They're acting like because they can't get the bottom run and they're gonna go call it off, but I don't know. Larson says it's done. Is he? It's, it's oh, done. Oh, he says it's done? Larson said he's changing and everything. No, we're done? That's what Larson said. Is, is Larson done or are we done? I mean, I'm ready to all out. <laughs> if you don't feel safe or you see something wrong, I'll be in my turn as usual. You give me the thumbs down. If you got something, just say something, okay? Hey, man, a lap all year. I'm gonna be fine. All right, man. <laughs> well, it's good to me. I'm burning a laugh. <laughs> Everything plus the gear just not being getting it wound up. You know what I mean?
you get to the center and it kind of like you see the wheels steer and then it like you kind of have to like walk with it for just a second. Like we just circled it instead of trying to I trim. Just, I just should have. Yeah. I got green. We had, we changed the rear end last year, and we had one that kind of, it was like something in the coupler or something just wasn't like true in there very well or something, but. Does that bottom disappear? 
tight and you can't get down there and turn like the top I like I wanted to burn a lap on the top as soon as we pushed out there it's like it's just dirty when yeah. everybody ran the bottom and just covered it. Like the first session I saw Donnie and the guys they were like after the non wing they were able to run up there for like a lap or two. Yeah. Once, once all the wing cars went over the bottom. I don't think these guys will use it really. I don't think they can.
No, it's it's over. They ran the B a long time ago. Like he, he late. He lay late. That was not a Yeah, because it marbles up, they throw it off. Yeah. And it just gets blocked sooner. He needed to be dirty as so, physically possible. Right. What? One of the years of the big one back in the day. Dad started like last or whatever it was, and they just like they threw some fuel in it and left the tires on and he was just gonna start and fart. Yeah. And somehow he ended up running like second. They said he thought he probably could have won, but he was worried he's gonna run out of fuel and blow the tire out. But he's just kinda like rolled around while it laid rubber and they all kind of fell uh, away and like they always like when you got a new tire on when it's abrasive like this they always fire but they fire so quick they just make heat you don't have a usable life cycle yeah. you know you don't bump the lid at all what? i think you'd be better off just being back yeah. and up i just don't know how one of these i don't know how this thing ramps yet because so just... it ramps pretty yeah I've never had to eat, like, oh, yeah. it can be like 17 inches of a thing. It looks gnarly when it's three quarters of the way back. It's like into the center down there is locked down, isn't it? That's, well, I mean, Wayne said it was yeah. in the B, so I mean, I couldn't really, I can't really see him in or there, but I mean, this, yeah, like, it's a pretty this, high I hope they run really hard tires. Yeah. <laughs> it almost looked like like they like he even started running the middle to yes. the curb. And like, he took the white and like he, I looked up, I could see and all of a he was hauling ass to the exit. Yeah. Exactly. So I knew he had, like oh he had to have had rubber all the way to the. Yeah, it was like rubber to the curb and then the curb rolled him up. And... Yeah. I don't I don't really know what's gonna happen here. Oh, yeah. like it's gonna be easy to pound. It's gonna be easy to pound your chest if it's good. It's gonna be really easy to be like, hey, you know, f it, day racing rubber, like.
weights that much out of the tank, is it? You wouldn't think. Did it get tight? No, it didn't blow up. Oh, it didn't? I thought he said it. Okay. No, it didn't blow up. But, like, it was bailing so much out of there, I'm not going to like, I ain't gonna stay out here running 6, 17. Yeah. I didn't think it. Like, and it just kind of came out of nowhere. So that's and I, I saw it like, start blowing. I don't. I saw nothing, and then all of a sudden, like, the last few laps, I'm like, oh shit, that was a lot of smoke. And then it just kept getting worse. So I was like, it seems substantial enough. That yeah, that's weird. I just don't know if it's because of the, the pan we're getting a false. Sense here or what? Like when I got going, it like just kind of aerated and aerated and blew it yeah. all out. But I assumed it would be like a significant leap. So I'm like, I don't know. Yeah. No, I don't like know. Like I was running good enough to. Like it's 50 percent. Like that pan's gonna show every leak that we got, and it's 50 percent. This thing's pushing on the floor. That's the pan. But I don't know. I mean, it doesn't look like it's leaking. No, I don't think it's any like. Nothing shows like it's, it's just like it, every little bit that comes out sits in the pan. I've got an entire oil change. We can just take the pan off, leave it off, change the oil on this thing, cut the filter, pull the valve covers off of it. Did it try to lay down or anything? Oh, it ran, didn't change tone or do anything. I just wonder if it's the normal way these things always just spit oil out of them and normally it burns part of it off instead we're just sitting it all in there and finally it pulled enough that it yeah. it blew it off in a shit ton all at once yeah hey, you weren't bad until like yeah, a restart wasn't bad um when i could hit the bottom okay and then i got going decent when i finally started running down there I got a little bit better I was just like looking very good down here off the bottom I didn't think but I hadn't really moved around enough to like really yeah. learn a lot this isn't the most fun top to run when you haven't ran a car in a while either I don't think huh <laughs> wasn't bad I just I'd say that's uh oh so just thought I've got to be running like 17 or 18 but Things are it better be safe and sorry for at that point. Yeah. No, we'll calculate them. But I mean, I could have just ran that. Slow. I mean, it shakes so bad. Like it's like down there, it just. Like, full time. I don't get it. So I Is it still like the same so RPM range? Exactly. Well, yeah, but like I'm just not getting. I guarantee you. But like Back now, numbers are really low. well, that's what I'm saying. It's like you're not before, like you had the shake and you were running out of it. Like, yeah, I'd run out of it. Now, then, like, I feel like now I'm, you've got I to just stay in it. I'm down, I'm staying in it. Yeah. Every lap around the bottom, just Durr. yeah. I get it. We've never done that before. Um, I almost wonder if it didn't just fill up full of fuel while it runs so slow. It's made it worse. And then as I got speed, then it built crankcase pressure up and then yeah. it started, it started bailing out the tank. Uh, just go through everything, just maybe just no panic. What? Or just no panic for the afternoon. Yeah. So I agree. Let's see if it it's just catches all the shit that we normally did. That's a oh. I know. You know what I mean? Like I is, know they is it or is it you know what I mean? Like we don't know what it actually spits every time. Like no, I don't yeah. Just 
belt up. But we're pretty low. Like it's you have to get like the, the bottom is lower than it was the other day. Yeah. But okay. Just stay with that gear then. I'm afraid if that's on the bottom, I'm gonna probably need it. Yeah. Most guys like the swing lap was what built your lap. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like your that yeah, momentum down the front straightaway. Yeah. Um, then my second lap, I bobbled just a little bit. One and two, my three and four, I thought was pretty clean. Like, uh, I think it was the second lap was like a 93 to 92. Yeah. It was close, so, even with the momentum from the first lap. I had a little bit of twitch in the wheel, and I was in the middle, center one and two. But. Don't want to get carried away and get you like center tight again, like we did yeah. this morning. I tell you, you'll find typically like, I don't know, like it's weird because I ran really good on 96s and like no stagger, but like, I'd say like a majority of the time, like I'll make more stagger work than the other way. Yeah, I'd say we're going to be pretty close. I'm going to just watch the track, but we go a little bit, but it rolls right around there. Break it. It's gone. Like it popped. Huh? It just like popped. That's what I mean. Did it, did it break the piece off or did it just round it off? Just what? It looks like I ran into the light. Yeah. It's good to have a cushion. I don't know why, but I'm actually kind of hopeful that that's actually maybe the problem. That stuff's all been like it went back at the end of the like. Late last year, got service. You think if it looked bad then, that something. 
as it just somehow has peeled itself apart. It never happens when you're gonna start like laugh. <laughs> yeah, no shit. I didn't think that thing looked like yesterday when we pulled that out at the end of it. Just, holy shit, like. That's gotta be one of my like first legitimate part failures right there, I think. I'm, I haven't seen a camp spot or like a pump strip like that for a long time. I think we flip it around and they let us just push and you can take off. It's all the way. All the bad, bad, weird things that can happen happen right now. And it's done. This has got to be the worst like mechanical issue two nights I've ever had in history owning this thing. I've had way worse. <laughs> Pretty much every January. <laughs> like I bought like I think I've I've had two blow up. And other than that, like we've never just had like it broke, you know what I mean? I can't believe that that bracket blow up. I know like we just still I mean we could have made the race. We could have made the race. Yeah. The uh um, where the steering pump goes into the cams butt on the motor, like the, the hex just rounded itself off. And then when we went to put the other one in there real fast, the way it came from sweet, they put the mount on it upside down and it would line up with bolt holes in it. So we couldn't get the in. And then we pull it all apart, set it on the bench and look at it and realize it's flip, flip it over and it goes in in like two minutes. We've, we've had like a shake from like three to 5,000 RPM the whole time and we can't get rid of it. And like, we're just praying, we're gonna fire right now just to see if maybe I got rid of it. But I don't know, it may not have. It makes speed, it takes off, it does everything. It just, it just rattles its feet for like 100 feet before it, it rolls and smooths out. So, I don't know. We'll see, I've changed u joint drive lines and rear ends, changed the fuel all around and we still haven't got rid of the shake. So this is last resort or I'm sending this thing back to the rider and screaming. It. Nope. Well, that's what it shook the like the thing shook enough where it probably just broke the mother. I wouldn't doubt it. God, mother. Not the way it did. Finally shook till it broke something, basically. Yeah. <laughs>